Today I am going to solve activity 2.5 in which you are supposed to tell if the given bytes uh, have got an error during transmission or not. Uh, now let's look at the first byte uh, and uh, you can see that you are required to have even parity in the first byte. Now let's count the number of ones in this byte. One, two, three, four, five, six. As you know that six is an even number, so there is no error in this transmission because we wanted even parity. And now let's look at part B in which you are supposed to have an even parity. So now let's count the number of ones in this uh, part B. One, two, three, four, five. So five is not even. So it is an odd uh, number. It means there is some error that has occurred during transmission. So we are supposed to write it over here that there is an error in this byte. Now let's look at byte 3. And you are supposed, you, as you know, that you are supposed to have an even parity. Now let's count the parity number of ones in this byte. You can see that the number of ones is 1. 2, 3. 3 is an odd number and uh, we wanted an even parity. So there is an error during transmission in this byte. Now let's look at part 4 in which you are supposed to have uh, in which you are supposed to have odd parity. So now let's count the number of ones in this uh, part 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 5 is an odd number and we required an odd par parity. So it means there is no error during transmission. Now let's uh, start solving part 5. Uh, as you can see that uh, you are required to have an odd parity. Now let's count the number of ones in this byte. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. As you know that 6 is an even number and you required an odd parity. So it clearly means that there an error has occurred during transmission. Now, let, now let's look at 6th byte in which uh, you are required to have odd parity. Now uh, let's count the number of 1s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. As you know, 8 is an even number and we were supposed to have an odd parity. So an error has occurred during the transmission of this byte. Now let's solve the next part, which is the seventh part in which you have all zeros and you are supposed to have uh, an even parity as you know that zero is an even number so it means that no error has occurred during its transmission now let's uh, now let's look at part 8 in which you are supposed to have an odd parity now let's count the number of ones 1 2 3 and uh, as you know, 3 is an odd number and you were supposed to have an odd parity. So it means that uh, no error uh, has occurred during the transmission of this byte. Now let's look at the ninth part in which you were supposed to have an even parity. Now let's count the number of ones. 1, 2, 3, 4. As you know that 4 is an even number and you required even parity and you required even parity. So it means that no error has occurred during its transmission. Now let's look at the last part in which you are, you are supposed to have an odd parity. Now let's count the number of ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. As you know that 5 is an odd number 
and you required an odd parity. So it means that no error has occurred during the transmission of this byte. Now let's look at question number two in which you have been asked that that in question one where an where an error occurred can you work out which bit in the byte was changed during transmission uh, the answer is this we cannot find out where the error occurred during transmission uh, this was about activity 2.5 we will solve activity 2.6 next time thank you